We've all made wrong choices and done things that we knew were not the best. It's one thing when other people do us wrong. We had a bad break. It wasn't our fault. We can have faith that God will restore. He'll pay us back. But when we bring the trouble on ourselves, when we blow it, it's easy to live in regrets thinking that God's not going to help us. We made the mess. But here's the beauty. God knew you would mess up before he called you. He knew we would get off course, at times given to temptation. He didn't base his plan for your life on you making perfect decisions. God has a plan even for your mistakes. What you think is a failure, you blew it. Nothing good could come out of that. And when we make mistakes, we go around down on ourselves, guilty, not expecting anything good. Voices tell us, too bad. Just live with the consequences. It's all downhill from here. Be encouraged, God is full of mercy. He doesn't turn his back when we make mistakes. He doesn't say, I'm done with you. You'll never get it right. Just the opposite. He comes running to us. He'll not only help you clean up the mess you made, he'll take it one step further and make miracles out of those mistakes. All things work together for good when you love the Lord. All things means even our mistakes. The times we blew it, got off course, God knows how to work it for our good. You may be in a complicated situation, a problem that seems like it'll never work out. There are other people involved, different personalities, legal circumstances. It seems too complex, but God has it all figured out. He can see things you can't see. His ways are better than our ways. You may have brought the trouble on yourself. God is saying, I'm going to correct those complications. I'm going to resolve complex issues. God will not only bring you through it, he'll take the mess you made, clean it up, and bring you out better. He can not only correct a complicated situation, but he can somehow use it years later to bless your descendants. When we're trying to do the right thing, our heart is in the right place, but we miss it. We believe God will help us because he's merciful and we were doing our best. Other times, we know what the right thing is. We know what we should do, but we do just the opposite. This is when we think, I don't deserve God's goodness. Joel, I made the mess. I knew I shouldn't hang around these friends. I did it anyway. Now I'm in trouble. Now I have this addiction. I knew I should control my temper. I knew I should bite my tongue, but I kept giving in. Now I don't have my job. Now I lost a relationship. When we bring trouble on ourselves, thoughts of guilt and condemnation bombard our mind, saying God's not gonna help you, you knew better. Just sit on the sidelines of life. And sometimes it's the enemy fighting us, trying to keep us from our destiny. That's why we have storms, difficulties. Other times, we're bringing the trouble on ourselves. When you're running from the Lord, you're running from your destiny. It's not only going to cause you trouble, it's going to bring trouble to the people around you. Our decisions don't just affect us, they affect our family. They affect our children. If you don't do the right thing for yourself, at least do it for your children. At least do it for your family. As long as you're making excuses, thinking it doesn't matter, then the difficulty are going to continue. You haven't made too many mistakes. You haven't blown it too many times. God's calling on your life is irrevocable. That means God is not going to change his mind because you got off course. He's not going to leave you alone until you get back on the right path. The sooner you do that, the better off you're going to be. God will allow something to get our attention, but he's not going to let those difficulties take your life. But at some point, you have to take responsibility and say, I'm going against what I know is not right. I'm hanging out with these friends that I know are pulling me down. I'm living negative, critical, hard to get along with. I'm not being disciplined in what I'm watching. That's going to cause it to be rocky, not just for you, but for the people around you. Why don't you quit beating yourself up? Quit reliving your failures all the time you've missed it and get back on the right path. It's not too late. God's mercy is bigger than any mistake you've made. 
You may have made decisions that have delayed things. You got off course, but you're not stuck. God has a new route. If you'll get your passion back, shake off the guilt, God will get you to where you're supposed to be. Shake off the guilt. Get ready to take new ground. You can still become all God's created you to be. He's not finished with you. If you'll do this, I believe and declare God is going to make miracles out of your mistakes. He's going to correct complicated situations, restore what the enemy's stolen, and take you into the fullness of your destiny.